Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Tarsical Beats channel in Malaysia. Now today on the channel, I've got a pretty special episode for you guys. It's safe to say that Kenna Toys have produced some of the most memorable toy lines of all time from our childhood. In the 90s, they had picked up various different licenses to produce action figures that were based off movie franchises. Now, not all of the toys and movies were successful, but they did end up releasing some very memorable figures with stunning resemblances to the actors who played them on the big screen. I would say stunning especially when you consider the limitations of toy technology at the time and the unavailability of sculpting techniques like laser scanning an actor's face. Here are a few of the best, in no particular order. First up is the line of Shadow Movie Toys, a character that was portrayed by Alec Baldwin in the 1994 film. Now I'm looking specifically at Kenner's Lamont Cranston Transforming Shadow Figure set. Now look, it's no big surprise that the Shadow Movie and Toy Line both underperformed but in fact, both of them contain many elements that make them worth revisiting today. The action figures are for very high quality, and for the Lamont Cranston figure who is the alter ego of the shadow, Kenner could have just phoned it in and delivered a sculpt of just about any generic looking rich playboy, but they didn't. It looks like a basic enough sculpt from a distance, but upon close inspection, you can see the subtle touches to the face that truly make this one of the best action figures with the likeness of actor Alec Baldwin. Well, at least Alec Baldwin as he looked like in the 90s, because we all do get old. Next up is Kenner's action figure of Bruce Wayne as portrayed by Michael Keaton in the 1989 movie. Kenner released this excellent Bruce Wayne to Batman figure as part of their Dark Knight collection series. Now Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne had a very specific style of brooding and a very troubled look that was unique only to his portrayal of the character. The action figure representation of Bruce Wayne does not have him in a billionaire playboy tuxedo but instead in something more of an action stealth suit. The face sculpt is one of the absolute best ever. There's some very detailed work here done with his eyes and cheeks and you do see Michael Keaton's unique moody expressions in there. I find it hard to believe that they made an actor likeness this good on a scale this small 32 years ago, but there's more to come. And then we have Jurassic Park's Ian Malcolm as brought to life by actor Jeff Goldblum. In 1997, Kenner gave fans the Ian Malcolm action figure as part of their series of the Lost World movie figures. Now I don't have the primary version of this figure, but I do have the alternate version instead that looks like he's wearing a suit that's about to take him into the world of Tron. Having said that, the face sculpt is still solid. Even though his eyes are hidden, his trademark rock star sunglasses are on, and they also accurately captured his uniquely thick lips to make this unmistakably the face of the actor that we saw in the movie. Most of the Canada Jurassic Park figures did not look anything like the actors who portrayed them. But this Ian Malcolm figure is something that even Jeff Goldblum would be proud of. Then we get Declan, the evil water pirate king, as portrayed by Dennis Hopper in the movie Waterworld. Now Waterworld may have been one of the biggest film flops ever from a financial standpoint, but the actual movie itself, which I remember seeing in cinemas in 1995, is an absolutely entertaining watch. And the toys that were made for the film are very well executed and in some cases like this Declan action figure, they are exquisitely crafted. Now actor Dennis Hopper has been in a lot of acclaimed movies and just a year before Waterworld, he played another memorable villain as the deranged bomber in the movie Speed. Sadly, there's not been that many opportunities for him to be translated into action figure form until this Kenner Waterworld figure. Kenner's work on the Declan action figure is just jaw-dropping. Before I ever got my hands on the Waterworld figures, I thought that these were just going to be generic 90s toys with maybe just a passing connection to the movie. But then I saw this and I was like, holy hell, they really did get Dennis Hopper's face right. Last, but definitely not least, we're checking out Kenner's Robin Hood based off the 1991 movie starring Kevin Costner. Kenner's Robin Hood line was notable for being one of the last of their action figure lines at the time to use the vintage style packaging that was famous with their Star Wars figures from the 70s and 80s. Namely, with the figure packed in a small bubble on the right of the card and a photo of the character from the movie taking up the entire remaining space on the package. You know, that classic retro vintage style look. 
Well, little did Kenner or the rest of the industry know that in the future, this will be how everything will be packed. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, it would look weird back in the day when the action figure looked nothing like the photo on the package. But not so with this figure. This figure is quite simply the best example of what Kenner could do with actor likeness sculpting for their movie lines. Kevin Costner has a ruggedly handsome face, one that is very distinctive and seemingly hard to capture on plastic, but Kenner hit a bullseye on this one anyway, something that was rarely ever repeated again for most of their toy lines. Now from the same line as well, you also get the option of the crossbow and hooded version of Robin Hood, which has the same incredible face sculpt. Looking at the excellence of this figure, I find myself struggling to understand just how is it after almost 4 decades of trying, Kenner and Hasbro still can't figure out how to give us a perfect, actor accurate Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. For a brief time in the early 90s, Kevin Costner was the biggest star in the world and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves would go on to become the last mega blockbuster movie of his career to date. Now this figure is a fitting tribute to that. Okay guys, that's the video. That's my look at the best Kenner movie action figures based on actor likenesses. Now let me know what you guys thought of the list. If you can think of any more, do let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'll do a second part to this. Thanks for watching and take care out there.